Let's get started with Adobe Illustrator. We will open a new document, explore a few of the tools and some of the processes for setting up and making um, efficient use of your time and efforts when you're working on a project in Illustrator. First thing we will do is open a new document. That's Control N in on a PC, Command N on a Mac. You could also find it under File, New. I want to make sure that my units are inches because I understand those better. We have our orientation here. We'll make this one landscape oriented and let's just call it Setup. Okay. So now the first thing that I like to do is set up my rulers so that to enable me to use guides. So control R on a PC, command R on a Mac will bring up your um, rulers on your top and left hand side. If you grab this corner, top left corner where the two rulers meet, and you click and drag to wherever you want, you can reset what constitutes zero zero on your rulers. Once you have rulers you can go into the, the actual ruler space, click and hold and drag over a guide. I'm going to split this document in half into four quadrants. So I am going to click drag one from the from the side and I'm going to drag one from the top. there I have my center point of this document so I for my purposes I want to I want to have this ruler start zero zero there so I can grab in the corner pull it down to wherever I choose that is now zero zero on my document so when we go to the next thing would be uh, tools. So V is your selection tool. That's probably the most basic and something you use constantly. A is the direct selection tool. If you notice with the mouse as, as you hover over each tool it will give you the um, keyboard shortcut. This is uh, to your advantage to learn and to use you uh, save a lot of time as opposed to moving the mouse around. You click with your on the keyboard. P is the next one, the pen tool. When we use the pen tool we always load it by by loading A for the selection direct selection tool and P for the pen tool. This allows you to toggle back and forth between the tools using the control and alt buttons. Um, it in increases your efficiency while working, your workflow will, will become quicker, and um, overall it's a much better experience because you are you are working faster, you're, you're toggling between them instead of spending so much time trading tools. Another tool that could use a lot is the rectangle tool or the circle tool. So the rectangle is M. Hidden, if you click and hold, below that is the rounded rectangle, the ellipse tool that you use for making circles and ellipses, polygon tool, you can use that to create any multi-sided um, shape, star tool, you can there's options on how many points and what what the the difference in the dimensions between the inner points and the outer points are. Um, so, like let, for instance, let's go to the ellipse tool L. If we just click and drag, we we get our ellipse long and whatever shape we we drag. If we hold Shift while we click and drag, we constrain it to a perfect circle. Same with 
the rectangle tool. If we just click and drag whatever we want it to be, whatever shape, it'll, it'll work out for us. If we hold shift, we constrain it to a perfect square. The V, the direct or the selection tool, when you know when you've selected something, you've got the four corners and the side handles. You have this box around it, which you can use to enlarge or reduce. You can use it to rotate. Again, if you hold your shift key, when you enlarge and reduce, it constrains the proportions that are already existing. If you right click while you have an object selected, you get this window. You can transform, which is much like the transform in Photoshop, where you can rotate, reflect. Um, reflect would be the similar to flip horizontal, flip vertical, scale, which we can do um, with the handles anyway. Shear is is a lot like skew in Photoshop, um, but it goes about it in a more mathematical form as far as with degrees and whatnot. Another aspect to Illustrator that's a little bit different than Photoshop is um, the layering within the layer. So let's flip this object here. When you work in Illustrator, whatever what is the last object you've created is always at the top. So since we drew the black ellipse before the white ellipse, the white ellipse is on top. And as we keep going, we will see, let's make this a new color so we can keep these straight. Okay, so we have these these various objects and you can see they are overlapping and they're overlapping in the order that they that they were drawn. So you can change the order, the layer order, object order as you as you wish. So let's say I want to move this black ellipse forward. I come down to a range, bring forward, it'll bring it up one level. So now it's up one level from where it had been. Bring it forward again, it's up another level. Now I'm going to click to the, the white circle. I'm going to arrange, send, or bring to the front, and it skips over everything and brings it to the front. So within the individual layers, you have another set of layers pancaked on top of each other. So now let's look at the basic tools again in, in Illustrator. So V, our selection tool, we get our handles. If I grab a corner, it, it's moving, it's controlling the whole object. If I click to A, click on a corner. Now I'm moving that individual point. Instead of the whole object, now I'm clicking on a particular point. When we were loading our brushes, AP, now if I hit Option, I mean Option in in, on a Mac and Alt on a PC, I can hand, I can manage individual handles. So I'm controlling the individual segments that lead to a point. And if you miss a anchor point, it will warn you. All right. Control Z will undo whatever you've done. In um, contrast to Photoshop, you can un undo 
all the way back to the beginning of your your session to the last um, opening to the last saved Photoshop has a limited number of undo um, actions so you're it's a little more forgiving in Illustrator as far as that goes so there you go there's some basics as far as setting up and using some of the, the basic tools in Illustrator we've talked about setting up the document uh, um, setting it up as a landscape or um, vertical format start setting up with rule rulers so that we can use guides so I've shown you some basic tools and how to transform and arrange objects on the document keep working